you guys. I'm really excited today. We're talking about forward, moving forward and going forward in life. I thought about this because I had gotten to a place and a position in my life where I was stagnant and not moving forward. And God gave me the word forward or to flourish and to grow. And I want to talk to you guys about that today. You know, just being on a street called straight and doing what God said to do in this season and focusing on your goals, your dreams and your aspirations. Acts 9 11, where Ananias and God is talking, he's just saved Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul is blind and he's walking on the street to go and get healed. And the Lord said to him, rise and go to the street called straight. And at the house of Judas, Look for a man of Tarsus named Saul, for behold, he is praying and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. While on this street called Straight, Ananias was able to baptize Apostle Paul. And after that, he was able to go out and set out and do what it was that God called him to do. But before he was killing off those people that were on the way, those Christians that were doing what God asked him to do. But he was able to convert and change his life. And I want to talk to you guys about that today because we want to flourish. We want to move forward in what God has called us to do. There's a psalm, the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grows like the cedar in Lebanon. If you've ever seen a palm tree, like every time I go to Florida, the palm trees are always growing. The palm trees are always blowing and flourishing, no matter what season it is, no matter what time in the wind of rain, uh, thunderstorm, it's always the same. And it grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. No matter what season the righteous are in, no matter what season a palm, no matter what season a a palm tree is in, no matter what season the righteous are in, we are set to move forward. We are set to flourish in our seasons. You know, I think that this uh, mishap, this pandemic, the COVID-19 or even life situations that have occurred, they have attacked us in a way that we were not aware of or we've never been hit and I want to tell you guys today that I want to see you flourish I want to see you move forward like God has called us and set out for us to do and in order to do that we have to believe that God can do it and trust in him to do it for us to flourish to flourish means that you grow rapidly and when you grow that means you're moving forward it's impossible to flourish and grow and move forward without moving forward you know and that's ultimately what God is trying to show us and do for us in this season to go toward on a forward path, on a straight path, just like Ananias and Apostle Paul on the street called Straight. There was this moment where Jesus was walking past this withered tree or the tree that had not grown, the tree that had not flourished, the tree that had not moved forward. On the following day when they came from Bethany, he was hungry and seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Here in Mark eleven twelve, it's showing where Jesus curses a fig tree, a fig tree that had already not grown, a fig tree that had already not ripened in the season, even though it was not the season for this fig tree to grow. What I'm saying here is the lesson in the withered fig tree. As they passed by in the morning, they saw the fig tree withered away to its roots. And Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you curse has withered. And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what believes that what he says will come to pass it will be done for him therefore I tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours and whenever you stand praying forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses you know even the lesson in this is to actually say to that mountain be thy move say to yourself I'm going forward say to yourself I'm going straight we set out to do something you do it you know sometimes people have to speak to themselves speak to their situation speak to their season so that they can flourish so that they can grow and so that they can move forward and I want to tell you guys that today the lesson lesson that Jesus is trying to say is speak over yourself but also make a choice and a decision like in those moments where I was stagnant and I was in place and not doing what I was called to do or the goals that I set out to do or what I wanted to do or just sitting in my mess or sitting in my test sitting in my trial I had to speak to my situation I had to 
speak to myself. I had to speak to that mountain and tell it be thou moved. You know, even when you want to flourish and you want to grow, there's hindrance and things that come in the way. But as long as you're moving forward, don't diminish any situation of you flourishing or growing and don't allow other people to come into those seasons. I think I spoke about this in one of my books. Don't allow the negative to come in the naysayers and the dream stillers and killers to come in and speak to your situation you speak over your situation and you speak over you thank you for joining another episode of the flow tv you can catch us at www.dalyshapon.com and equipped by god on instagram the flow on snapchat and the flow television on instagram much love be blessed